Hey YouTube, I've got a pretty crazy story for you this week, so I thought I would tell you what happened this weekend. So, I was on one of my regular scheduled training rides. I have been being really good lately, you guys. I'm getting out on the bike every single week. I'm training for the Young Survival Coalition's Tour de Pink, which is their fall uh, bike ride for charity and it is for the Young Survival Coalition which I am have told you guys before how much how big of a fan I am of that and how much it helps me personally and so I'm happy to ride with them every single year and my team which is team Metathriver has been out training hard for that ride well Saturday was our training day and two of my teammates were out with me and we were riding in New Jersey and I picked a pretty tough ride. So we had quite the challenge getting up this monstrous hill, which in hindsight was probably a little too big for us. Um, we definitely struggled to get up that hill. Um, we've been trying to get comfortable on hills because we're going to California. Um, for the West Coast ride this year and that means way more hills than what we probably have in New Jersey so we've been training for elevation we've been trying to get some um, some good rides under our belt so we were out on our ride we were enjoying ourselves riding through the woods rolling hills no cars beautiful we come down the final hill and we make it around the bend and we pull into the gravel parking lot where we left our cars and we're getting our stuff put away and we realize both cars have been broken into. The windows have been smashed in to both Tina and my cars. Purses are gone. Personal belongings are gone. Honestly, we're trying to train for a charity bike ride. That's why it's important for us to get out. And when we get back to our car, we've been robbed? Who does that? I mean, if I'm being generous, somebody who has worse problems going on than I do, even. We called the cops. We gave them our story. items that can be replaced but I'm definitely out a hundred dollar deductible for my window to be repaired it's frustrating I feel bad for my teammates who trusted me to bring them on a ride and trusted to leave their cars there I know it's not my fault but I feel for them it's stupid so that was the big event for the weekend, but I feel like, you know, I don't know if I believe in, in karma or whatever, but I sort of uh, feel like the universe was trying to balance things out for me this weekend because later that day after I had gotten done canceling all my credit cards and, you know, calling whatever, calling the bank, calling who else do you call? I forget. I called all the places that you call. And when I was finished with all of that, I looked at my cell phone and found an email that came through that said that I had won tickets to the Book of Mormon on Broadway in New York City. Go figure that that had happened that same day. So I said, I need to go. I've been playing the lottery to win this show for weeks now, maybe months now. And chose today to come in so I said John we're going to this thing he said okay and I bought the tickets and well I which was you know something that wasn't in my purse that day and purchased the tickets <sighs> Ugh, what a mess but we saw the show on Sunday and you know it's I love that show 
I love him. He doesn't even like the Book of Mormon. I mean, he didn't hate it or anything. I think that's the most absolutely hysterical musical in the world. He did not care for it. And that's not to say that he didn't enjoy himself, but I was really hoping that, you know, he may not like musicals at all, but that that one would be different. And it really wasn't. He didn't really like it that much. I enjoyed myself. And now we know John doesn't like any kind of musical. <laughs> And that's okay. You don't have to like musicals. That's my story. See you next time. <laughs>